Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so hot here. I am going to die. And so I gotta get out of here. Like I can't even, I can't live. It's going to be over 100 degrees. Over 100 degrees for three days straight, like 105, um, which is insane. So I need to leave right away. And that's what I am doing. I am going to the beach and um, hope to stay there for about four or five days. And as I am there for four or five days, I already know that they don't have a Planet Fitness there. So that means I am going to need to wash my hair. So I brought my big bucket and I brought my um, hair mole, my squirter thing that um, you will see later. So stay tuned for that. It should be interesting. I've never done it before. I bought these things before I even started van life. Cause you know, you, you, um, you research everything. You're like, what am I gonna do for this? What am I gonna do for that? And da, 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 da. So I bought these things a long time ago. I haven't even used them yet. Um, cause I've never really needed to, but I do, I will do in the next few days. So, um, you will see what my setup is and how I do it and if it works or not. Uh, very soon <laughs> so let's go so as you can see I think it's pretty different down here I actually have to wear a little jacket and it is sprinkling so um, I think I did a really good job of escaping the heat look it's so gorgeous I love the water when it's all choppy like this um, in this weather. Beverly Beach State Park and it is a really cool place it's the campsite is in the woods and you can get full hookups you can get dry sites and you can even rent out yurts so it's really neat and there's also beach access uh, but one of the cool things about it is that it's got a kind of nature trail that you can go on you don't even have to stay at the campground you can just go on this trail and this is what I'm doing now what the heck are these big leaved plants? They're all over this trail. Oh my word. If you know what they are, let me know. There's just, oh. They look like they're gonna sprout pod people any minute. And now, there's something in the Sparkly shimmer on our skin Restoring everything within oh, oh, oh. It's a frozen caterpillar! I love them! Hello little guy! Aww! Don't go in the road! I should save you!
Well, I just had my interview. I think it went really well. I am just not sure um, if I want to work so far away from home. Um, you know, having Clifford enables me to do that, but it's still a hard choice. Um, and the job was kind of sold to me by the placement agency I went to as um, remote. Um, but it turns out it's not. I mean, the, the placement agency totally sold the job differently than it actually is. So that was really frustrating. Um, and they won't really allow me to do hybrid remote until I'm all trained, like maybe in a year, a year. What? That's crazy. Um, so I don't know if I want to take this one Monday through Friday so far from my, um, town where my family is. So we will see. I will have a have to have a good long think about it. But in the meantime, I have got to get this hair washed. So um, I will get back to you once it is all set up. All right. So I am going to demonstrate to you how I'm going to try and wash my hair. Now, I've got this big bucket that should be big enough for my head. And I have this. This is a pesticide sprayer or um, fertilizer for your garden or whatever. Um, and I heard from somebody that um, that would work. That that's a good way to do it because you, I guess, you pump this and you get pressure. I don't know how many times I'm supposed to pump it. Yeah, and it doesn't say in the instructions, so I'm just gonna pump it a few times, I guess. So this will be trial and error, and you can see how it works, or if it works, along with me. All right, woo! Oh, wow. Okay, come on now. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I've got the spray going. What? Oh, okay. Okay, so this little button allows you to keep it spraying or make it stop. And this will go to um, like a spray, more like a shower spray. So I've got that set up now. Let's give it a go. Whew. nice okay so I just stopped it so I could do my other side I think I might need more pumps oops uh, okay I need more more pumps I think you just basically do it until it gets kind of hard to, hard for it to go. Yeah, oh, much better. Oh, wow, woo! Whoa, that's amazing. Yes, more pumps are better. So, here we go with the shampoo. Ow, gosh, this hurts my knees. Okay. This is torture on my back. Oh my gosh. Torture. Oh man, I don't know about this. Okay, really hard on my back. Oh God. Okay, I think that's probably good enough. Okay, I'm trying to do it down here. Uh, I can't. Ah. 
good. It's not stopping. Dang it! Ah, there we go. Holy crud. Oh my gosh. This is so hard to do. Oh, takes a lot of muscles. It takes a lot of muscles that I don't have. Okay, I'm pumping it more. Okay. Let's go to the other side. Okay. So yeah, so this is a one half gallon sprayer. So, and it didn't even use all of it. And I didn't have it filled up all the way either. I had it maybe around here. Um, so that's great. It didn't use that much water, easy to fill anywhere. Uh, I got it pretty cheap at Lowe's. And the only thing that I learned, well, one of the things I learned was just to pump this quite a bit until you get enough pressure and then it will get your hair wetter, um, obviously, and it will get the soap out better. So um, I think it's great. And um, the only thing I would do different probably because it was really hard on my knees and really hard on my back um was i might like sit on a stool sort of to make it easier to bend over and not have the pressure on my knees so i would probably do that um next time i try it and i will try it next time and i will let you know how it goes if i found better solutions uh if you have any solutions for washing your hair in your van as you can it's a very small space so I can't do like kiddie pools I can't do um, you know I've heard a lot of different people do different things with that type of thing blow up stuff um, it has to be pretty small oh my gosh wait 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 hold on let me show you something there is, I see that there's, I don't know if you can see, oh yes, right here. There's a lot of unwanted water spray. Can you see that? <laughs> All those drops there. A lot of unwanted water spray um, from the sprayer. Let's see if there's any, not too many over here. So that was an unintended consequence that I'll have to think about. I think I just have to get better at spraying. Um, cause right now I'm, you know, obviously a novice. I don't know what I'm doing and it was pretty heavy. Um, so once I get my arm weights and start working out my arms, I'm sure it will get much better. I know probably most of you are in better shape than me. I don't know, but, um, so besides the spray and the heaviness of it, I give it three out of five stars. Cause I know there's probably an easier way to do this, but without a sink in the van and um, not a lot of space. I think this is gonna work for me now. Um, excuse my... <sighs> ah! Excuse my makeup running because it was very wet all over my face. Anyway, um, I will do my hair and let you know if it got everything out the way it should because um, I will be able to tell. <laughs> so uh, hang on just a minute. Well, as usual, I filmed me drying my hair, but I forgot to press record. So, but look, I could be in an 80s rock band video. Woohoo! Just need a little teasing up here. Anyway, I use my little um, low wattage hair dryer and um, it took a while but it finally got it fairly dry so um, yeah let me straighten it now. Okay hair is done and I think it went well I didn't have any soapy residue um, so the sprayer worked really well and uh, I will definitely be doing that again. I just have to set aside a big block of time for it because it took forever. Um, so when I have the chance, I will still go to Planet Fitness because it's just quicker. Um, but when I'm here in um, on the coast where there's no Planet Fitness, I will definitely take advantage of doing my hair 
in my van with the little sprayer. Um, again, if you have any better suggestions for me, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Um, yeah, so I guess that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, quick little PSA. Um, I have a new channel because I've started doing carnivore eating. And so I am tracking my progress on that channel. So if you know anyone or maybe yourself who uh, is kind of interested in the carnivore diet and wants to see someone else kind of go through it and what it's like, um, head over to my channel. It's called The Frugal Carnivore. And so far I just have one video. So if you would go over there and um, subscribe and like and comment, it would really help grow the channel. Um, yeah, so I hope if you do, you enjoy my uh, journey of meat. <laughs>